Hi everybody, Joe Conkley in the shop. We are still working on the 1937 G18 here, and this is the next step. I am planning on resetting the neck, so the first step for neck removal is to remove the fingerboard extension, this part here from the 14th fret to the 20th fret here that is glued onto the face and the top. Um, I'm going to have to get creative here to put my foil cowl on here. This is just a piece of cardboard layered with uh, aluminum foil. For starters, I have my two spatulas here that I'm going to use to insert into that glue joint there as the glue is softened from heat. And these spatulas are heating up and they're wet. Nice warm water here in my glue pot. Then I'm going to take my heat lamp, get some heat on the top of the fretboard and allow it to penetrate through there to that glue line. And then I'm going to pull the 15th fret with my flush cut end nippers. That 15th fret lies very near the back end of the dovetail cavity. That will allow me to drill a hole into that 15th fret slot and into that uh, the back end of the dovetail cavity. The dovetail cavity is usually slightly deeper than the dovetail tenon itself, so there's a little space there. That drill bit goes right down in there. And that will allow me then to uh, insert the steam needle down in there to steam that joint loose. Just heat that fingerboard up. Another aspect of this is that the metal frets tend to be very good conductors of heat, so they help this process. They stay hot longer and allow the heat to penetrate through that fingerboard to the uh, to the glue joint. Same as everything we do with, with, with heating parts up to, uh, to make the high glue work or to uh, take the guitar apart. You have to be very judicious. One thing you have to be careful of in this situation is those frets, which are very good conductors of heat. You can touch the wood and usually get a feel, but I have, you can't touch the frets because they get hot. Hot spatula. So this is just a um, cake icing spatula that has been bent and reground to a fairly sharp edge there. And I'm able to usually get it right in that corner pretty nicely and start working my way across. So I want to I want I want to be able to insert this all the way up to the near the 15th fret there. Okay, so this is coming out pretty nice. That knife is cooling off a little bit as the fingerboard is. Let's take this one. This one is a little longer and bigger, uh, so that it, but it's nice just to have two knives so that one is heating while the other is doing its work. Just heat that up a little bit more. So I got, I separated the top up to about that 20th fret there. So you want to reapply the heat at a certain point though, that heat will build up and it really start to penetrate and uh, you know, it'll go faster, I hope. The high glue, it can tend to go faster sometimes because the high glue is, is very um, crystalline in nature, um, which is definitely one of its good properties. Um, and uh, so at some point, possibly like the whole joint can pop and just come loose. So now I'm going to take my glue brush and tilt this a little bit so I can get some of this warm water into that joint there and allow gravity to um, have work its way down this way further along. So let's put the heat lamp on it again. This side is pretty freed up, that deep in, all the way down to the 15th fret there. Fret removal, um, heat definitely helps. There are little nibs, points that are slightly wider than the tang of the fret that goes in the slot that help hold it in there, but it does make for a challenge when removing the frets. Taking my flush cut end nippers here. Now the last part of this is to drill that hole. I know from experience that um, 
this is where the dovetail ends. And usually the cap, I'm going to angle this slightly back towards the body too. As I go through that fingerboard, what I'm hoping to feel is that air cap in. Just, didn't really, might be, might be directly under here. There it is. There it is. There it is. Going right down into the. Uh, a lot of times that cavity is air and some some glue, but it's not wood. I, I can feel the difference there. Yeah, nice and clean. I'll do one on the other side. So when we insert the steam needle, the steam goes in one side, circles around that, up the other, comes up out of the other. Mostly air, it's just squeaking on the glue that is seeped down there. There you go, that's in the shop today. Bridge plate patches glued up, fingerboard extension loosened up from the top. We will continue to do the restoration on this 1937 D18. And uh, like us and share us on Facebook, and we'll see you in a few weeks. Thanks.